What is up, folks? Let's see what we have in store for us today. Okay, so you must be knowing about the technique of candle meditation that you see the flame of candle for some minutes. Just, just a second. We've seen this guy before. I've already exposed. He claims to be a neuroscience expert, neuroscientist, but all he is is an NLP coach. They're using this uh, term NLP, which stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming, to claim neuroscience. I'll show NLP right now. You can have a look. Uh, Neuro linguistic programming is a pseudo scientific approach to communication. You can read more details about it later. I looked this guy up on uh, LinkedIn also, and he is an NLP practitioner. There's no neuroscience up here. I have no idea where he learned his neuroscience from. As per LinkedIn, which he himself wrote, uh, he does have an MBBS, but all the pseudo science that he's saying, I don't trust that he's an actual doctor. Uh, Let's watch the video. So you must be knowing about the technique of candle meditation. Does everyone know about candle meditation? That you see the flame of candle for some minutes. This technique was medically reviewed by Jocelyn Jelinek and this article was published upon the healthline.com. I've opened that exact article and we see that uh, this is in association with some uh, New York Ayurveda and Panchakarma Center. You can find early mentions of this in Hatha Yoga. Now, the issue is that Yoga and Ayurveda are notoriously infamous for making conclusions or formulating their methods not based on evidence. And uh, that's the issue. This is heavily Ayurveda based. This article anyway, let's see what he's saying. So he's heavily appealing to the authority of this website, Healthline and this medical review by these people but if you go to that article you can see it's heavily pseudoscience based so let's mark wheel to authority right here now i'm going to show what are the benefits of candle meditation you can see that this is a book named as kundalini tantra in this book it's also given here that candle gazing is already candle gazing used in many religion as a medium of meditation wait what why did you even bring up that book why did you have to show that it's done in certain religions is that authority for you by some means okay found that these are the benefits of candle gazing yeah note that these are not evidence based conclusions increased cognitive performance and focus increased memory improved mental health improved sleep quality and improved eye health so how to do candle gazing meditation you can take the screenshot and these are the steps you can follow so these people must avoid this candle gazing meditation who have taken drugs and alcohol who are prone to seizures who have myopia glaucoma or serious eye disorders basically i highly recommend not going by any advice that this page gives that you get from this page dr shubham i don't think he's a real doctor judging by how much pseudoscience he's peddling uh, I've seen other videos from his page. You can see, I'll, I'll show you another video. See this. Many people were claiming that Osho was having sex cult in his ashram and sex was being practiced in his ashram. Oh, now I'm going to show you the proof that Osho was the pure believer and practitioner of Vigyan Bhairav Tantra. There are 112 ways of meditation and two tantras, two, two meditation which is based upon sex. Now see here, this is the shloka and this is the tantra. Now see here, this is the English translation of Vigyan Bharat Tantra by Ranjit Chaudhary and see this line. At the time of sexual intercourse with a woman, there is a great joy during an orgasm. That joy speaks of God's nature. And now see here what's given. Oh my God, isn't this pattern recognition gone wrong? Sure, at the time of orgasm, you do feel certain things. But to uh, conclude that that is somehow associated with the joy speaks of God's nature is a jump, wouldn't you say? In order for this to happen, one has to be aware of this joy. Awareness is important. Without awareness, no transformation can take place. This intensity, the intensity of joy causes the dormant energy Kundalini. Let's see another video. So whenever you meditate, you ask yourself this question that from where I am becoming aware, where this awareness is coming from and you will get the same answer. You can see this Manav Sharir Me Atma Ka Sthan. So here it is written. He, he's got a bunch of pseudoscience books and he just takes a pen and all his videos are literally him tracing or uh, pointing out lines from his pseudoscience books. In the pineal gland, your awareness, yourself is residing. Dude, this doesn't prove anything just because it's written in a book. Pineal gland. Also, this is a book by Sigmund Freud. In this book, he gave this concept that psychological disorder originating in the mind rather than in brain. A lot of things said by Sigmund Freud have been shown to be pseudoscientific in nature. You can look that up if you don't trust me. Other of psychoanalysis, he said that mind and brain are different. 
सो माइंड कंसिस्ट ऑफ दीज थिंग्स थॉट स्टोरीज फीलिंग्स इवेंट्स एक्सपीरियंसिस मेमरीज बिलीफ पॉसिबिलिटीज एंड पैटर्न एंड आई गेव इट नेम एज नाइन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स ऑफ माइंड सो वी हैव ब्रेन विच इज इन एक्शन विद नाइन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स इट क्रिएट्स द होल माइंड एंड देन वी हैव अवेयरनेस विच इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग एवरीथिंग सो अवर अवेयरनेस रिसाइड्स हेयर इन द आज्ञा चक्रा बट इफ यू ब्रिंग योर अवेयरनेस टू द अनहाता चक्रा और चेस्ट चक्रा और हार्ट चक्रा यू विल ओपन अ गेट वे टू द डिविनिटी सेम विल हैपन इफ यू रेज योर एनर्जी फ्रॉम द मूलाधार टू दॉट यू सींग दिस बंच ऑफ बर्थ एलिट सो इन रॉबिन कलीज बुक This place, the third ventricle, is known as the temple of the soul, where Shiv and Shakti means consciousness and energy unites. You can also check my book in bio section, in which I have talked about these things scientifically. <laughs> scientifically, scientifically. While we're on the topic of uh, neuroscience doctors, <laughs> doctors, uh, I'll show you another profile. Uh, Manavendra Chauhan, who claims to be a neuroscience specialist, I've opened his profile here on LinkedIn. he claims to be a neuroscience specialist when all he is he does all he is learned is neuro linguistic programming yeah dude uh, this is another fake neuroscience you do know that neuroscience is not the same as neuro linguistic programming right this is another fake neuroscience person so uh, this page also i've seen a couple of videos peddles a lot of pseudo science whenever you see stuff from this page also you should be very of the content just pseudo sense let's see one of his videos since i'm sure uh, you there may be people who are watching this video who have not seen the videos where i have exposed him let's watch another video mahabharat aur ramayan kal mein vimano ka varnan hai par kya hu agar main aapko ye kahun ki ye sach mein exist karte the hum indian scientific hone ke ego mein apne hi scriptures ko ignore karte hai na wohi china jaisa desh usse samajhne ki koshish karte hai taki wo mazak you can go to my channel and check out this video i've gone in detail and explained how much pseudo science there is in those in the soul vimana thing बट ओके हमें भी कोई ऐसी जानकारी मिस ना कर दे जो उनके बहुत काम आ सके आप इसी बात से सोचिए कि यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ चंडीगढ़ में कुछ संस्कृत डॉक्यूमेंट सेंड किए गए थे पर वो पता कहां पर डिस्कवर हुए तिब्बत में चाइनीज गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा और आप शॉक हो जाओगे जान के कि उन टेक्स्ट में क्या था उस टेक्स्ट में इंटरस्टेलर जैसी स्पेसशिप बनाने की पूरी टेक्नोलॉजी थी इवन उसी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ चंडीगढ़ की डॉक्टर रूथ रेना ने खुद बताया कि उस टेक्स्ट में स्पेसशिप को ग्रेविटी के अगेंस्ट यानी एंटी ग्रेविटेशनल टेक्नोलॉजी का वर्णन किया गया है इवन दो में एक सभा को संबोधित करते हुए कैप्टन आनंद जय गोदास ने कुछ ऐसा कहा कि बहुत बड़े साइंटिस्ट और कई भारतीय भी उनके अगेंस्ट हो गए उन्होंने कहा कि विमानों में इतनी हाई टेक्नोलॉजी थी कि वो एक प्लेनेट से दूसरे प्लेनेट आर यू सीरियस वी डोंट हैव दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इवन नाउ इज देयर नी डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ दिस पर जा सकते थे पर खुद इंडियंस के ही होश उड़ा दिया एक अमेरिकन साइंटिस्ट ट्रेविस शेन टेलर ने यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इरविन के इस इंजीनियर ने 18 आई हैव सीन दिस क्लिप बिफोर यू नो वेयर वेयर इट्स फ्रॉम द कॉन्स्पिरेसी थ्योरी डॉक्यूमेंट्री एंशिएंट एलियंस पुराने हिंदू टेक्स्ट से एक एरोस्पेस मॉडल बनाए ये जानने के लिए कि उड़ सकता है कि नहीं और रिजल्ट ये था कि वो कुछ हद तक सफल हो गए थे और उन्होंने पता है क्या कहा जो इस वैदिक साइंस को क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे थे सुनो वी परफॉर्मड अ गुड साइंटिफिक एक्सपेरिमेंट आई डोंट वांट टू वॉच एनी मोर ऑफ दिस दिस ऑल एंशिएंट एलियंस यू कैन रिकॉग्नाइज दिस गाय होपफुली एंशिएंट एलियंस गाय बट आई दैट्स इट I'm not gonna say much more about this but I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one